It is the championship game of the 1997 McDonald's Championship. And there are three players on the starting lineup with American experience. Rogers, Karnishevis, and Hawkins. Karlach, property of the Chicago Bulls in the NBA, will be jumping against someone he may be com competing with someday, Luke Longley, uh, for the Bulls up in the front court. And Tomic, the guard, excellent defender. He may draw Michael Jordan earlier. Use early. You see Cappy, Longley, Harper, and Jordan, and Tony Kukoc. Anytime that the Bulls give you that full court pressure and trap, you've got to get the ball up the floor. That's a three from the corner. Arturis Karnishevis, 6'7", played his college ball, as you well know, I'm sure, at Seton Hall. Karnishevis hit a three and drew a foul last night that really clinched the win for Olympiacos. And the first two of the night for Michael Jordan. Well, you got a lot of very intelligent players on this team. Jordan brilliantly. Jordan flashing quickly from that weak side. And pulling up for the short corner. Oh, Michael Jordan has six shot block, but the pressure and the intimidation. Karnishevis, good penetrator. He draws the foul. Karnishevis shoots well from outside, as we pointed out last night. Karnishevis hit uh, the three and then drew the foul to really clinch the victory. He also hit big threes toward the end of their previous two games. You'll be following up on your comment about the defense. A very tough call against Wennington there. Just a, almost a, a beg and a prayer to get to the line. But I think the Bulls will be much more focused in it every single night out, knowing the, the importance of getting a, a wins early on without Scotty, without Dennis. 2-17, Michael Jordan has six. Carlach has six. And if they don't win this game today, Bulls are leading at 26 to 19, and Michael says we'll have none of that talk in this basketball game as the Bulls are up by 14. 9:31 remaining in the first half. Karnishevis with the triple. Speaking of Karnishevis, he's the guy that hit the big three-pointer and the foul call to win the game against Argentina last night. He comes in, the Bulls too late in the rotation to step out. Olympiakos trying to get back. Right, uh, the, you know, the fact is, you know, he, he makes these guys into tougher players and, and better people. Karnishevis misses the shot. During that timeout, Bob, the place was jumping. The music was blaring. The dancing girls. Now the crowd has picked up for Michael Jordan, who's back in the game. Sense it, you know, that he's got a, another... 24 minutes in the second half, six minutes here. Legal defense in international competition. Michael goes around Carlach. Oh, oh, baby. They came for that. They came for that. I came for that. <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as Michael saw Hawkins playing him, he said, give me the ball. And now watch Tarlock come on his double team. Michael said, forget it, will you? Slow feet. I'm taking it and throwing it up over my head off the glass. This is beautiful. He's behind the backboard. Yes, he is. Doesn't even look at the rim and still knows exactly what to do. Renoir, Beautiful. Monet, <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> oh, you've been to the Louvre this week. Sucks in Tony Kukoc's face often when he's having bad games and did so last night. His airness shoots that one over the outstretched arms of Franco Nakic. Couldn't practice almost for two days because of the toes. He had the uh, toenails removed, then he was in a great deal of pain. And he was telling me early in the week when they first got here as he hits again. 17. And a little dance. All right. A little jumper with a nothing but net and a dance. 8 of 13 from the floor is Michael. Because you, you have to get a little bit out of shape to allow your body to rest and recover from the gruel and the grind of the season. Well, when you talk about Michael, you're talking about a guy who must give the crowd, night in and night out, excellence because he is examined under a microscope by the media on a game basis. There are very few nights that he has a chance to take off, as we know. And it's not just the crowd in attendance. It, it, uh, you know, look how he's huffing. He'll never do it at playoff time. Now he'll only average 37 a game at playoff time. Jordan <laughs> working between the legs, draws the foul. <laughs> Bronco Nakic commits the foul as it's his turn in the box, so to speak, trying to defend Michael Jordan. The torture chamber, it's called, Bob. You, you get isolated on a guy as talented as Jordan here. The crowd just building the pressure 
Knock is just helpless here, and, and, and he's a very good defensive player here. Uh, excellent athlete at 6'7". But any time that you do not get a chance to play against the Jordan, you're not going to stop him. The leading scorer, by the way, for Seton Hall, uh, for Seton Hall. Well, he was leading scorer for Seton Hall. That's not all that wrong. Is Karnischewicz, he has 12 as he hit those last two free throws and is going back to the line again. Now, P.J. Carlissimo might be watching this afternoon. Played for P.J. Yeah. Uh, played extremely well. Average 18 points a game throughout his career at Seton Hall. Now, Karnischewicz uh, was recently uh, married uh, this last June to a woman from Boston. Lithuanian national team member. Was in the Bucks training camp for a short while. Spent two years in the CBA with... Rockford and a couple of years with uh, FC Barcelona. We look at the scouting report on Karnischewicz. Great shooter, solid rebounder, can penetrate, get to the hoop. The key is his man-to-man -man defense, whether he can stick a guy, because he's got the body type. He's going to have to be an off-guard, uh, uh, possibly a small forward, whether he can stay with the real athletic guys like George and Scotty Pippen, but nobody else can either. Tomic, not a bad hit. On Michael Jordan, eight seconds. <laughs> This is why we bought the tickets. Jordan's double teamed and fouled. Karnischewicz came down to help Tomic. And Bob, you speak of buying the tickets. You see a lot of, of the regular Bull fans have flown over for this great event. <laughs> I tell you. Can I talk to your travel agent? <laughs> when I check into the hotel, I give a tip to the bell house. And I, you're doing an NFL game tomorrow. Congratulations, Bob, and good luck sleeping tonight. Hey, listen, they're holding the... I don't think they'll do that. And Ooh. the buzzer, that nearly fell in. 54-43, Chicago by 11 at the half. We'll be joining Greg Gumbel for the Prudential Halftime Report right after this. You need guys who can be an offensive factor. They have to hit that 10 to 12 footer, Joe. Right? They're facing yeah. the best. Jordan with the pump fake. Yes. And the basket, and Michael has 22. Left hand in the open court, but has not been getting to the foul line like he did last night on the break, QB. Karnischewicz, that's a three. Karnischewicz hit a three late in the ball game for Olympiakos last night against the South American champions. Kicked his leg out and drew the foul and made a four-point play out of it, which really ensured the victory and gave Olympiakos the ticket to the championship game tonight. They had a three-on-two. They kept the ball in the outside lane rather than get the ball into the middle. Now, this is Michael Hawkins at his best. Taken into the middle of the floor, kick it out to the corner. Karnisovic is an excellent three-point shooter. That is showers over here in the fabulous hotel we're still in. Jordan taking it inside. Bad oh. back in and the foul for Michael Jordan. Well, Michael should now be. has 24 with an opportunity for 25. Well, there should be frustration, Bob. You, you had four red shirts inside, and Jordan not only shoots it, he gets the rebound and puts the ball back up in the basket. Uh, not taking her time on a break uh, and didn't take advantage of it. Jordan. Michael, 25. Michael with all the flash balls going on. Talking about this morning at practice when... Whenever he goes anywhere, the paparazzi here, the guys on the motorcycle with the photographer right next to him, just chasing him down. Yeah, obviously, it's for Michael. Uh, well, well I th that's all right. I thought the security in our hotel was for me. It was for the Turkish Prime Minister. Michael Jordan answers. And he lost the ball and still got it back. The concentration, the focus, the discipline. And... But a moment ago, Bob, he had a beautiful high post pass. When you get a guy who's 6'10", like Tony Kukos, and pass from the high post and stroke that jumper, that creates all kinds of offensive opportunities. After three periods, Bulls by 15. Michael Jordan got some rest. He'll be back 27 minutes, 27 points. So what is new? Carlach tonight with 14, 11 boards, make it 15. Well, they solved Hubie their rebound problem from last night. They were, they got killed on the board. They gave up 20 rebounds to Struland, and tonight they've just been everywhere and been able to control. No, he doesn't know that 34 is the record, but just during that last time out, Phil Jackson walked over to him and asked him if he wanted to go back in, and he said, certainly. <laughs> There you go, Patrick Ewing uh, versus Pissarro Scalini in 1990. Larry Bird, look at the names on there. Danny Shays, come on, he belongs right in that group. 
Jordan with 27 on the bench now. Kerr with 10. Nobody else in double figures for the Bulls. Pernicious with 19 points and good balance, but not enough of it for Olympiakos. <laughs> And that's the final score. You see the photographers and Ahmad Rashad surrounding Michael Jordan. Bulls win at 104-78. Ahmad. All right, thanks, Bob. Michael, you've won five NBA championships, but this one is a very important championship, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people uh, felt that if we didn't come here and uh, win a McDonald's Open, then our championship would be tarnished. I didn't take it in that effect, but, you know, we quiet all the, the critics and, and basically came out and, you know, even though we were not at full strength, we won the tournament and you know, I'm very happy to get off the year on a good foot. Everybody came out to see you at 27 points in 29 minutes. They got a view of Jordan, didn't they? I hope so. You know, I just do my job whatever I'm on the basketball court and, uh, you know, I don't know if I please him, but I did my job. All right. Congratulations to you, Michael. Thanks. All right, Bob. Thanks, Armand. Been a joy, but working with you today, uh, Michael Jordan, just another regular guy. Bulls win it, 104-78. Hey, Bulls fans. Thanks for watching. For more videos, just check them out right here.